Ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Stone Hearth, the Candle Dark series. We're now in episode four, and things are moving along quite nicely, even though we're being attacked by undead every night. <laughs> That's okay. Let's make sure that we've got all of these harvested, and let's go check on our moat to be sure that that is now a work in progress. I think it is. I got it set up here as I got started. Yeah, there we go. So they're going to finish off that moat. Now, the next thing, we, we were working on our, beginning to work on our palace. Now, I, I've, I've discovered a couple things that are kind of interesting that you can take home with you. So when you're building with blocks, with your, when you're building with blocks, no problem, right? You could just place them down. And if you don't like what you've done, you can use the eraser tool to remove those without any trouble whatsoever. But if you decide that you're going to do what I did and build with the wall tool, um, which reminds me, by the way, the, the wall tool has two different sections for color. One is for the wall and one is for the column. So that's where, yes, so there is actually a way to change that uh, column color. There we go. But when you're building with walls, so let's say I was doing the same thing. I'm doing uh, the pillars with the walls and I want to do them too high now. I've changed my mind on that. I'm going to do them too high, like so. Now, um, the eraser tool does not work with the wall tool. So you can't remove those walls unless you have, unless you've just done it, and then you can hit the undo button, and it'll remove each wall piece, uh, like two set of two together at a time, which is fine. However, if if I built a bunch of stuff and I want to go back and I want to change things, it's not so easy to do. So I'm considering maybe pursuing or continuing on using the the block tool, like the doing using more slab craft than the wall tool, just because you know, like like if I change my mind on these walls later on. Say I'm done the entire structure and I want to go back and change these pillars somehow. I'm not going to be able to do that unless I unless I destroy the whole building and rebuild it. So that is kind of a downside. So I'm, I'm happy with these two columns. I know exactly. I know that these two columns are exactly where I want them. So I don't have a problem with them. However, I think in the future, I think what we're going to do is we are going to do Slabcraft. It is painfully slow to build like this. So I'm probably going to do some fast forwards while I build with that. But the bright side is I can use not only the undo tool, but I can use the eraser tool to remove those. <laughs> okay. So next thing we're going to get sort of get, I'm, I am going to build this all as one structure, which is, <laughs> which is quite a large task overall. So uh, let's start off with the foundation for the next piece. I want to have this piece raised too. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. We're going to use the raffia color. Uh, let's make sure that we'll get, I want it one away from the edge, like so, yes. So the terrain is kind of defining what we're building here, which is kind of cool. I kind of like that. Okay, so we're going to have it go right up against this, like so. And then we're going to use the coffee. Hold on, what is it? The coffee cake. Yes. And the coffee cake, uh, let's go back to Slabcraft here. And we're going to go like this. Oh, some reason I switched back off of coffee cake there we go coffee cake up like so and then we're gonna do another step up and another step up so it's gonna be raised by three now this one here oh whoops hold on undo <laughs> um actually I'm, I'm gonna pause the building there for a second oh this is gonna look so good I'm so excited but I'm gonna pause that for a second while I go back to our hearthlings and just make sure everybody's uh because it looks like we've got maybe a problem here I'm just gonna pause it what is going on why are you on top of the pumpkin uh okay let's move the pumpkin <laughs> uh silly hearthlings hearthlings are so silly sometimes okay move the pumpkin because who is that that is scabbling! Scabbling, you should be digging! No wonder you're not digging. You're on top of a pumpkin. You can't, you're stuck. Okay, let's see if that's, let's see if they can save scabbling here. Oh, it looks like our warriors are stuck. So did I forget to turn off their, yeah, I forgot to turn off their, their guard order. Okay, there we go. So they're back up, back and working as well. <laughs> okay, so I think if he moves that pumpkin, he'll maybe fall, hopefully. There we go! Scabbling, you're back at it. Go eat something, scabbling. Please, I hope you're not bugged out. Scabbling! Come on, let's go, hold on. Let's do the, uh... let's try this. There we go, now you're moving again. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta shake them up a little bit. There we are, so another thing I'd like to do, well, because we do need some some town, uh, we need some value to our town, and it's gonna take a while before we actually get this building like under construction, so I was thinking, let's do a prefab, because I hardly ever play with the prefabs, and some there's some new ones here that are really appealing. Like, look at this, look at the Mason's Workshop. Doesn't that look awesome? That looks so cool. So I figured, you know, we can do some of the trade houses on the outside. So let's rotate that so it's facing, there we go, that looks very nice. Look at that, I think that's gonna look really great. Let's make sure it's just one way. 
Actually, let's do two away from the edge there, just to be sure they don't have any problems building it. But isn't that nice? That's a nice little... This is this is a fairly new thing. That looks really, really cool. And I think we'll do the, the potter's house on the other side here, but we have to move some stuff before we do that. And uh, before we get this started... Oh, 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 pause. <laughs> Invaders! Oh, more of the wood golems. Interesting. Coming. Yeah, we got to get that uh, that mode finished off. Oh, well. Okay, so let's get everybody moving again here. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Let's make sure our warriors are coming up. They should meet them in combat. Oh, oh, oh hold on. Pause. Nope. Let's get everybody back. <laughs> come back. Nope. Come back. There we go. There we go. Fortunately, these golems are not that tough when you're playing on normal mode. Uh, yeah, it's it's the it's the undead and it it's becoming nighttime again. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Yep. So that means we're gonna see at least I don't know how many more waves of undead we're gonna see. I think we're just about done with the actual undead. Thelius Darkside has reached Footman level three. Wonderful. Excellent. Yeah, these guys are going down. Going down fast. All right. Good. 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 Okay. So yes, let's make sure that we get that building under construction. So let's get finished editing and build. It's okay if we end up with an extra Mesa's workbench because we can sell that later. So there, that is under construction. Now we only have one person really that can do the uh, building. We only have scabbling. So, the, I mean, part of the part of the reason why, oh, Dew Thirsty got, uh, got a level or something. The, the one reason that we want, we need to get that building up is so that we get new hearthlings into our little, into our little commute here because we're actually, what is this, like night four, night five? And we have not had any new hearthlings in our group yet. So that's kind of scary. Uh, why are they not harvesting all this stuff? Come on, guys. What, what's going on? Why is everybody just standing there? Okay, stop. St okay, there we go. I guess I did hit the uh, the uh, the town defense mode. There there we go. Excellent. Everybody's back up and working. <laughs> and it is nighttime. Let's speed it up just a little bit until we get to the, to the undead arriving. Oh, uh, hold on. There's, some, there's something stuck in the... Oh, there's stuff in... What's going on? Oh, weird. There was uh, there was a pumpkin there or something. Oh, weird. Okay, so they're just finishing up. They still have not finished off that door, unfortunately. And, of course, we do not have our moat fully built yet. And it's night five. Wow, it took us way too long to get this moat done. Okay, so the undead have arrived. And, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I wonder if we have time to move this banner. Let's see if we do. Let's try and move it over here, maybe. Oh, look at them all. So, yes, another thing that I've learned, thanks to Adriana. Adriana, let me know. Um, one of the reasons we're not seeing vampires, vampires are new with Candledark 3, the newest version of Candledark. And at the beginning, we chose the the path that was the old Candledark. So that's why we're not seeing any vampires yet uh, for this season. Hold on, pause. I don't want our warriors to meet them quite yet. Let's get our warriors moved back up here. Defend location up here. There we go. Excellent. Okay, I think we can do this, but we've got to let them walk through the pumpkin, the pumpkin field here first. <laughs> um, oh, there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. Um, we're going to have to get everybody to come back as soon as we can. Okay, there we go. We've got that posted. Let's get everybody back right now. Let's go. Have them walk through all of the pumpkins. <laughs> Take that. Take that, undead. So yes, we if we had chosen at the beginning of the Candle Dark series, you may have remembered, there was a an option that we had with LZ Bar Grimrock. And if we had a chosen option two, we would be playing the newest Candle Dark, which does, which does include vampires, but unfortunately we didn't choose that. Okay, come on. Yeah, we're this, wow, okay, wow, the zombie's running. Wow, that's crazy. Wow, we take a lot of damage from these guys. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Do thirsty. Oh, yes. Uh, Thelius took a... Yeah, there we go. We've got them. We've got them. Now, let's see. Let's take off town defense mode. Let's see if how much damage we took. Did we take... Hold on. So, uh, Thelius... Thel Thelius uh, is, is infected, but does not have zombieism, I don't think. And then we have... Where is uh, where is our other warrior? Do thirsty. Where are you? Just want to see something. Do thirsty. Okay, so do thirsty. You're okay. All right, so we can actually take you off of guard mode. Fantastic. Cancel, hold on, seven. Cancel, there we go. Perfect! So I don't think we have to use a potion as if they're infected. Um, they will just take some time, time for him to heal. So one, one of the things we could do while we're here is we're going to set it up so that we maintain five health potions at all times. That's what That way we never run out so long as we have the materials. And we're always gonna maintain three of these 
these fancy, fancy schmancy healing tonics. There we go, perfect. And, uh, yeah, that's all we can do right now. They're quickly building this building up, so maybe by tomorrow we might have enough net worth to get a new hearthling. Finally! Finally! Oh, that is sorely needed. Let's move this banner back to here. We're gonna have to move all this stuff fairly soon here because I would like to start building the potter's hut on this side. As a matter of fact, we could start moving this stuff now. Yes. You know what? Let's let's move the banner. Let's move the banner so that it's over here for now. That's probably a better location. We'll start moving all of these pumpkins. <laughs> it's a lot of pumpkins. What are we going to do with all this stuff um, once this whole thing is over? Once the candle dark thing is over, I think you get four days or four or five, five nights, I think, of the of the undead attacks. And I think it's almost over. I think we've done well at defending ourselves. Nobody got turned into a zombie, which is great, but I'm also kind of disappointed. I mean, I, of course, we wanted to prevent that from happening. But at the same time, I would have liked to see what it, what would it would have looked like if somebody had turned into a zombie. We were too quick to heal everybody up, though. <laughs> I've never felt bad for being too efficient, but I felt feel kind of bad for being too efficient. <laughs> Elzibar Grimrock returns with his cart. Um, do we have any more money? Um, do we have anything to sell, actually? Uh, we do, so let's sell. Oh, we're not making anything off of these bird bass. It's because of Elzebar. Elzebar does not spend... Elzebar does not give as much money for products. He does for the chair, but not for the bird bath. Well, we'll sell them all anyway. We need to... We need to... Do what we can. We'll sell whatever wood we have. Sell all, sure. And, uh, I think that's just about it. Um, the board benches, yeah, it's eight gold. Oh, we could be selling those potions that are actually worth uh, 11 gold. That's pretty good. But that's okay. That's okay. I think we're good there. Let's see. Let's buy a couple more of the pumpkin lanterns. We can afford three, four, four more. Let's buy all. Excellent. A trader approaches your town. Oh, hello, hello, Shire. I'm just passing through it, but I'd be willing to make a trade or two. If you're interested in make, uh, interested, I, if you make me five clay bed, I'll be back in three days and I'll give you one comfy bed. I accept... I accept we will need some clay. I don't know if we'll be able to pull that off. Oh, three days. Okay, so we have three days. Okay, so let's get that queued up. So we need five regular beds. Uh, we are out of clay, so we need to get, definitely do some more digging for sure. <laughs> We've got so much. Everybody's doing so much. Like, we just, we need more people. That's what we need. We need more general laborers more than anything else right now. But that's okay. That's coming. That's coming. I think with the, once this building goes up, even now, we probably have enough net worth just even with the state that this building is in at this point. Um, let's make sure that we've got all of these harvested. Excellent. Let's put it up in speed just a little bit. Yes, perfect. Get them moving. Come on, guys. Dig this out. So they're digging out that hole instead. Okay, daily update. Yes! Finally! Wonderful! Okay, accept! A new settler would like to join, uh, Damon Mistian. All right, uh, excellent. Let me go grab my names, be right back. Okay, Damien Mistian, you shall be named. Let's go more info and change your name to Swanky Dog. <laughs> I haven't even looked at him yet. Hold on, here, let's, let's take a look at him. Oh, five, four, five, four, five. That's really good. Oh, welcome. Welcome very much. And you are also sporting mutton chops. This is, we should have named this town mutton chop, mutton chop village or something. Swanky dog, you're going to be a worker. Let's put Scabbling back on his hall for now. Yeah, let, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's get, let's get you guys building and stuff. We need to get that, that moat dug out as soon as possible. But now we have two workers, which is wonderful. Welcome to the team stay with Swanky Dog. Your mutton chops are quite welcome here. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's put this back up in speed and get that building built. And while, actually, you know what? Let's go regular speed. And while that's, while they're in the process of doing that, let's work on our little, yeah, here we go. Let's work on our little, uh. Our, our little little palace, our massive palace, actually. Okay, so let's get this. Um, it's a little bit of a pain to do it this way. Um, hmm, I don't know. I wonder. You know what we could do? We could just uh, see because I want to have I want to have these these roads going on the inside of the palace. Um, but it doesn't matter if what I mean what the bottom level of this road is. It's going to be raised. So let's stick with our raffia. Let's go a raffia, and we're gonna do in we're gonna inset one more time. So that it's one one block in, like so. Excellent, perfect. And then we're going to go even with that. Or do we want to do inset again? Actually, that would look kind of cool. That would look kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's like steps going up from any direction. I love it. I love it. And then the front. And then we'll this one we'll do we'll square it off. So we're gonna go like that. Perfect. So it's nice and square at the edge. Perfect. 
And then this coffee cake, what we're going to do... Ah, oh, shoot, now I'm going to have to replace that. Yeah, well... So we'll replace this one for... Uh, we'll go right to the edge with that. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep it like that, but for now, that should be good. And we'll do Coffee Cake Road right down the center. <laughs> oh, that looks great. That looks great. So now, what I was thinking is we're going to do some more pillars. Uh, I really should be not using the wall tool for the reasons that I've already explained. But that's okay. That's okay. I, I think we'll use a wall tool anyway. So I think, because, <laughs> you know, I like living on the edge. As long as we got it like so, and now this one is only going to be one high. It might have, we're probably going to do multiple levels for the palace, but these are two high, and then this one's one high. And, oh, yeah, see, I, so they can only go up the steps to get into the building, which is fine. I Actually, I'm okay with that. So there's only one way in. That's okay. So then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, like so. And then these are going to be four apart? I think four is probably a good number. Maybe maybe even six, actually. <laughs> this is a problem. You know, like, I don't know what the what it's, what, I, what I should have it at because I haven't built the entire, entire structure and I haven't mapped out exactly what it's going to be yet or what, it's, what it should look like in the end. But I think that's a pretty good number, actually. Six, that's a nice number. And we're going to have some more, some more pillars in front here as well. I think we're going to do them like this. And then, of course, they're going to be too high. It's so much easier to build with wall tool, but like I said, we cannot remove them as easily, unfortunately. Oh, uh, weird. I don't know why it unselected my wall tool for some reason. All right, so that's good. And I, I'm pretty happy with that. So these are six apart. Perfect, actually. That's great. Um, if we keep our all of our pillars six apart, and then, then I don't really have to worry as much as long as they're all the same. It doesn't matter if we use four or six or ten, as long as they're all the same. Now, that may not be the case over here. I, I hope this works out here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there is the six distance. Like so. And then if we go, let's just test it out. One, two, three four, five, six. Ah, actually, that might work out really well. Now, I did change this this foundation, so uh, maybe I'll change it back. I changed it to be seven across, but I think we won't do that. So if we do just six across, like so. Actually, you know what? We should go back to four across. I think four, because all of our roads are four, I don't want to be doing something, you know, that's not consistent there we go that that's gonna be okay and then we'll do uh, we should have enough room here to put a market stall there excellent excellent <laughs> wonderful so yeah this is kind of fun i don't usually build with you guys usually i just do fast forwards i hope you guys are enjoying the whole process of the build too and where my brain is when i'm building which is usually just kind of random what was that uh, message i feel it's oh no hold on hold on hold on pause Thel Thelius Darkshine, oh yeah, you got bitten, but you're okay, you're okay now, okay. Uh, Trader will be back in two days. Uh, yeah, we need to get that clay going, so let's stop our building process. Are you guys starting to dig out this area? Oh, oh man, okay, so we've got people stuck, stuck in the well! Timmy's in the well! Okay, so <laughs> let's get a ladder in here so you guys can get out. Now, how long have you guys been sitting here? The problem is I get, this is why, <laughs> This is why I like to pause it while I'm doing building and stuff, just because, you know, stuff like this happens all the time. All right, so this, I'm going to do, uh, there is some clay in here, so I don't want to build these stairs on top of that. But I think, uh, let's see, where is the stair tool? Stair tool, we're going to use clay. We're going to use the raffia colored, I think. Like so, and we're going to do another one like this, but I don't know if I should, I don't know if, I don't know what happens if I put it on top of that clay. I think we'll just wait until we get that one stair down. Yes. And then we'll dig out some ore, some more of that. So that's why we haven't finished our bloody, uh, our bloody mode is because we had guys stuck in the tunnel or guys stuck in, stuck in the hole. Timmy was in the well. Okay, there we go. We've got our second one dug out and now these will require some clay to build, but that's okay. I like to be consistent with my building materials. Okay, so now let's go down even further. So this is, we're just going to keep going down further and further and further and further. Oh, that's... That's not what I expected. Okay, so that's okay. I, I think we'll we'll make this longer. See if we if I try to dig here, it's gonna be underneath the stairs, which isn't a terrible thing, I guess. Hold on, let's cancel this. 
Not what I expected, though. That's the thing. It's not what I expected. But we'll wait until they get those stairs done. There's some more for them to dig out. Uh, we are definitely running low on clay. That's for sure. So we need to get them out there. And we're also using clay as a building material here as well. So we <laughs> we are definitely going to be running low on clay. Let's speed it up just a little bit. It looks like we're it's starting to get dark. But we have another person which is helping us out. Unfortunately, as long as I don't as long as I don't get them stuck in the hole, I think we're okay. These walls are all going to come down, I think, too. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. But yes, somebody was like, you're going to take down the walls because they don't look right. And I'm like, yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> I'm insane that way. Uh, yeah, so I think, yeah, we are going to have to... You know what? I'm going to have them dig this side out, too. I'm going to remove this ladder. We're going to have to dig them another, or put another ladder in there. Um, and I'll have to, yeah, I think we should, we should be able to still build the stairs. And we, we're not getting a lot of clay out of these little pits, unfortunately. Uh oh, I hear bad guys. Do you hear that? I heard a growl. <laughs> it is nighttime. Uh, we should really get everybody back up. Let's get a set of stairs back up here, guys. Hold on, hold on. Pause. Uh, return. Okay, where's the undead? Uh, they're all inside. Yeah, so no matter what, they're they're spawning inside in spot inside our little home here. The bad guys, the other bad guys, the regular bad guys are coming from outside, but these guys are just spawning from the from the ground. We must have we must have started dig uh, building on a on an ancient Indian burial ground or you know something like that. I don't know. Let's get everybody back home. Um, we never did finish moving all of those pumpkins. That's okay. Let's get everybody back. Can everybody get out of the hole? Of course not. Pause. Ah, bloody tarthlings. <laughs> All right, build another ladder. Let's, uh, kill this one. Um, you guys can't build a ladder while you're in town defense mode, so I will let you go ahead. I need you to. I need you to build that ladder like now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Pause, pause, pause. Uh, let's get our warriors back. <laughs> Whoops! Almost sent them off to go to battle when I shouldn't have. Okay, let's get them back here. Uh, we still got a few seconds. I need you to build that ladder. I guess it doesn't matter. If you guys are trapped in there, I guess that's a, about as safe a place as you could be. Um, why are they not doing anything? That ladder is in the right spot. Oh, no. Somebody else is coming to build the ladder. That's why. Okay, so... <laughs> Come on, start taking damage. Start taking damage. Ah, there we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. Somebody else is coming to build that ladder, I think. <laughs> um, okay, so they're going for my... I'm giving, trying to give my guy as much time as possible to build that ladder so that my guys can get out. There we go. Everybody, town defense mode. Let's go. Take as much damage as possible before we actually have to start fighting these guys. Okay. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Let's go. Let's go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, man. <laughs> Who, I, well, you know what? We might, you know, I, I'm, if somebody does turn into a zombie this time, I might just let the infection take hold. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh run, run. Oh, no! Somebody died! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, both of our warriors died! Oh, no, do thirsty! Oh, no, wow, these guys are tough, man. They are taking damage, but, uh... Wow, they hit like hammers. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm heartbroken. I'm totally heartbroken. Oh, there we go. Oh no. Fal Falalus Darkshine and Dew Thirsty Emu, may you rest in peace. Oh no, this is the first time in any of my series on YouTube with Stonehearth I've had characters die. But I did say, I did say at the beginning of this series that that is quite possible. I didn't, they, they seem to hit, they seem to hit the warriors harder than anybody. They did crazy amounts of damage, guys. That was nuts. Uh, we better, hold on, I better check everybody. I can't, we can't afford to have anybody turn into zombies now. We should maybe do a prophylactic and just, just nail that uh, heal. Yeah, because we do have uh, natural regeneration. 
Oh, improved health. Okay, infected. You know what? We're, we're gonna hit it anyway, just in case, just in case anybody is infected with something we can't afford. Now what do we do? Oh my god, I think our new that new person's gonna have to be a warrior. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Here lies, here lies do thirsty emu and uh, Thelilus Darkshine, they fought valiantly. Oh, that's so sad, but hey, guess what? We get to get a, we get to have a graveyard this time. We've never had a graveyard in our game. So uh, this is kind of fun, but sad. Oh, totally sad. Oh, there will be there will be new hearthlings. I promise you, there will be new hearthlings. Oh no, Elzebar Grimrock returns. You know what, Elzebar? We need more stuff, man. I, I was I was debating on whether or not to buy any more of these, but obviously we still need them. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Okay, well, we can afford to buy two more pumpkins. I, you know, I think, I think we should have, we should have maybe had all of our pumpkins move before that because I don't know how much damage they were taking from these ones. These ones might've been too far away. Oh man, I got so distracted with other things, but you know what, on the, on the other side of it, I'm kind of glad this, you know, we felt a little bit of the heat here too. I mean, <laughs> this is supposed to be a challenging, challenging mode and I've been kind of taking it for granted a little bit. So it's kind of nice that we did take some damage, <laughs> but it's also very, very sad. So I think if we build our pumpkins actually further this direction, oh, I can, uh, trading, oh, we can get another one of those shields. Invaders, hold on, pause, oh no, we don't have a warrior ready. Mind you, these guys are not that tough. Either way, we need to get a warrior. <sighs> Guess what, Swanky Dog, Swanky Dog, you have four body and five spirit, you sir. <laughs> you sir, take your mutton chops over to the uh, to the hammers and grab yourself a weapon. Oh, that's a that's a really unfortunate thing. Um, but we have no choice. We have no choice. Um, Swanky, uh oh, Swanky is has no health. Oh no. Um, hold on. Pause. 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 Swanky. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna have to assign somebody else as a warrior. Somebody else with health. Um, Scabbling, what is your stats, Scabbling? Hold on, let's take a look at everybody's. This is, this is, this is, this is an interesting turn of events. Uh, we've never, oh, we can't use Scabbling. He's got body of one. Master Abbas is two. Serpotet is two. Exorcist Panda is two. Roddy is six, but spirit one. Roddy, I need you to take up a sword for now. <laughs> uh, Cause there's, I don't know that, I don't know that Swanky can do this job. Swanky, as a matter of fact, we're gonna remove you from the uh, from the from the job as soon as, as soon as you pick up your sword here. Um, otherwise, we, we're gonna be in serious trouble. I think we are in serious trouble, guys. I don't know if we can pull this off. Okay, Serpotet. Okay, so hold on, hold on, pause. Let's make sure that Swanky, uh, Swanky Dog. I want you to go back to being a regular regular worker for now. We are probably gonna make you a warrior later, but he has no health. There's no way he'll be able to survive this fight. Uh, did we ever build those those potions, those health potions? Um, I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Um, either way, we only have a couple of these guys to deal with. Uh, I'm sure our poor little farmer with no courage can deal with it. Oh, this is crazy! I love it. I love. I love the challenge. Actually, this is this has been great. It's nice that we saw some challenge. One warrior should be able to handle all of these guys. Fortunately, fortunately, these little guys don't do a lot of damage. So one at a time, he'll be able to kill them off. Uh, and then we'll make we'll turn Roddy back into his farmer class. He'll have a little bit of experience under his belt as a warrior as well. <laughs> oh my god. Well, <laughs> don't yell at me guys because I, I think this makes it more interesting. This makes it more interesting. I, it's a shame that people died. Of course, I never want people to die. But at the same time, this does add some interesting flavor to the series. Does it not? Having people die? And we also get some gravestones that we're, get, we're gonna build a little graveyard with the help of these little uh, these little things and make an interesting little decorative graveyard. It'll be nice, actually. We'll have it fenced off, a little stone fence. It'll look nice. Um, yes. <laughs> oh my god, oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe we lost people. I, the only other time I've ever lost people in this game was during a live stream when I was doing another mod, actually. I was doing the Frost Feast mod, also made by Froggy. I think I might have mentioned that before, but okay, so let's get uh, Sir Roddy. Sir Roddy, uh, thank you very much for your help. Oh, deadly update. <gasps> Another person. Oh, fantastic. That's exactly what we need right now. Oh my god. Okay, so Runa Sherak. Excellent. I think I have a name for you, Runa. Let's just pause it here. Let's go to my list. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so let's take a look. 
Let's take a look at her. Rena Sharak, you are a 434, which would make an okay warrior too. Actually, you'd be okay as a warrior, but we're going to we're going to change your name to Doctor Scarbor. Sounds like an evil warlord, or an, like an like a like a Marvel hero, <laughs> an evil Marvel hero, Doctor Scarbor. <laughs> I love it. There we go, Doctor Scarbor. You are who knows. I don't know what you're going to be at this point because we're short a couple warriors. Okay, so Roddy, you uh, let's make sure that Roddy is. Yeah, uh, let's change jobs, Roddy. You are going to go back to being a farmer for now. Thank you for your help, though. That was very nice. Um, we have... Pro uh, let's get all of our pumpkins moved. Let's get all of our pumpkins placed because... Ha! Ha! Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to survive one more night like this. I really don't know. I'm I'm thinking we're just about done with the Candle Dark. Like, the Candle Dark uh, mod is just about over. It only lasts for five or six days, I believe. Maybe it's longer. I don't know. I'm just putting them down as, you know... <laughs> there is a meaning to my reason, a reason behind where I'm putting them I'll ch actually a little bit and I'll explain that. Um, so I don't think they'll spawn this close to this side because I think we've got too much stuff over here. They'll probably spawn over in this area, like somewhere out in here. So we can bring them over to here and we'll move this, this uh, banner right to the edge, right here. Cause I, th I think they kind of have to be a certain range from the banner. Actually, we'll, yeah, the banner, yeah, the banner's fine there. Okay, so let's get uh, the rest of the pumpkins placed. I, I've been spending too much time building, you know, building the palace and working on other things rather than preparing our defense, which is uh, obviously has been a huge mistake on my part. I did I, because I kind of, you know, it, it was pretty easy at the beginning, so kind of took it for granted maybe because these 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 pumpkins are pretty good. I'm just kind of so basically, I'm trying to place it. I'm assuming they're going to come from this direction. They could come from this direction too. So uh, we'll get a couple more over here, a couple more here, and we'll place that scarecrow as well. Now, as far as uh, making it look nice, well, I'm not making it look nice. <laughs> I'm just getting them out right now. I think that's the key is getting them out. Uh, let's get a couple more beds down. Uh, let's start placing our beds over, uh, over here, I guess, because I would like to start building uh, building another building over on the other side here. That Building that building, the one that we did, the prefab, was actually a great idea because now we have enough uh, wealth, of course, to move on. Uh, we're, I'm just hoping we don't die from the candle dark. Guys, that's all I have time for today, but we will be back in two days with another episode of Stoneheart, the candle dark series. I hope you're enjoying this. We lost people. It's so tragic. Oh, rip, Thalus, Darkshine, and do thirsty emu. All right, take care, guys. Bye.